Hello everyone, Matthew Lake here with an Unreal 5 tutorial. Today's video I'm going to show you a really cool hidden feature that I've been enlightened to by Aaron in the Discord server. This functionality basically allows you to run a function directly within the animation graph. Uh, so I've got the third person template here, there's nothing special going on and we're going to move directly into the animation blueprint. So if we make a new function over here, so let's just call it tutorial function, okay? And we're going to make it log string, okay? And I'm going to go put hello tutorial. Okay, so now we've got this function. What we can do is if we click the function and go to the details panel and under the advanced tab, you can see there is a thread safe option. So this means it can run multi-threaded. And if we just compile that again. Now, if we head back to the animation graph, and we right click in the background here, we will now be able to type tutorial function. And we now get this call function from animation graph. So if I do call function, you can see there's a lot of functions that we can call here, but we're looking for the tutorial one. So if we just click that, and now we get a node where we can actually call our function directly in the execution chain. So if you click on this, we've got a few options. So there's things like um, on initialize, so it'll run once, update, so it'll run like a tick. Uh, when it first becomes relevant, there's a, a variety of different modes that you can put it on here. But if we just plug this node directly into here and we go play the game, we are now printing this on essentially tick because this node is being evaluated. So this is actually really cool in the fact that um, I'm sure people have seen the uh, the functions on normal nodes that like you can see here we have. Uh, the functions where you can run initial update, become relevant and on update. You can basically do that, but kind of not tied into a specific node. It's got its own dedicated node. So the benefits of this is you can do like a blend by bool. And for example, you could have that going to there and that going to here. And now this function will only run when it's false. And as soon as it goes to the other pathway, it won't run that function anymore, which is super powerful, super useful. And I, I just thought more people needed to know about that. So I thought I'd make a quick video to share this amazing knowledge. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope that is a very useful technique and I hope it applies to your projects. So have a lovely day. Goodbye.